and hello again everyone. Welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and today we are going to start our steel plant. Well, I hopefully we're going to finish our steel plant, but we're going to build a steel plant and um, that'll let us get through most of the next tier. So let's get started and see where that leads us. I did do a few things offline. As usual, um, a lot of what I do offline is on my Twitch stream, which you can find linked down below. But right now, I have a total of eight power plants running. I did get the rest up and going. I love the clank noise it makes when it hits the front of my helmet. <sighs> okay. But as of right now, we're getting about 600 megawatts pumped out and we're only using 110 and that includes the um, mines and the water extractors but what we're going to do right now is we're going to start and we're going to start building some oops we're going to start building some more mines and we're going to get steel up and running. So we're going to start with these two coal mines over here. Um, and we're going to aim them south. Now I have found these things actually want a um, four meter foundation. And they will sit happily on that. I also found out when I was experimenting on my test build that I always thought that the foundations lined up properly, but they don't line up properly vertically. That foundation is actually a meter shorter than that foundation. So I'm going to add, because I'm going to want these lined up later, I'm going to add another one meter on top of it. Now, you can't do this to most um, resource nodes but coal is a fairly thick node and it seems to work properly so we're just gonna deal with it right now um, see it'll actually let me set one up that high up and you're overhanging the front so we're gonna started that one further up it would have worked I don't know but let's build out a bit here and over here and I want to build both of these guys so that we just merge into something aimed oh uh, let's just whoop did not mean to jump off the platform I'm going to put a merger here let both of them head off into nowhere. These guys are only producing 60 per minute at the moment, just like the others. These are normal nodes. So I don't need anything more than a Mark 1 belt. Let's make it look pretty. So there. Get there. Okay. And I may as well turn these guys out. So, just to make things a little neat, I'm going to put this here, run it around the corner here, so it doesn't clip through that cliff face, even with the critter standing here, and then bring that up to here. Okay. 
and we'll try to keep these things somewhat in a grid because we'll be expanding this later and we'll need the power to be coming from somewhere. Okay. So, you're now powered. And you're now powered. So, we are now building or mining 120 coal per minute. Now, we need to go get some iron. And I know that there is some iron up here. There's also a hatcher up here. But we can deal with that. Greetings from Earth. Okay. This is my iron node. Now this, that's not what I meant to do. This is actually a pure iron node. So this guy's gonna be producing 120 ore per minute as well. All right. And I'm not gonna put the whole four meter things up here. I'm just gonna put two meter ones here. That doesn't work as well for iron as it does for um, coal. And I am just avoiding my little barrel nut tree here because I may need that later. Actually, I may be too far over. Let's find out. right? I honestly can't tell. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I can't leave those off. And let's get it up and running. So I can come down here. See where that is. There it is. Okay. You're now online. So let's run a... Are you closer to the left or the right? You're closer over there. So let's just run you out of ways. There we go. So we are now out in the middle of... Hanging out in the middle of nowhere. I really don't need this much space. Right now. There is an alt recipe involving iron. Or involving steel. Where you can use smelted ingots instead of iron ore. So eventually I'm going to want to put several ore processors here and then merge them together. So I'm going to give this much space so that eventually I'll have that. But for right now, I don't need it. Instead, I just need a aim point, as it were. But now I'm going to come over here pick up some of this stuff because I still need it because I've still got biomass burners on the other side of the planet. And we're going to build a platform here. And we're going to build it four high. Uh, there we go. We just build that up that way. that for now. Okay. And 
think we're now over this, so I can anchor it eventually. Now, the things I have to do now is I have to bring... Let's bring that out a bit. Those look lined up with one another. I honestly can't tell. But since that is producing 60 each, 120, there's 120 iron ore per minute coming in there. And I didn't extend that out, so I need to do that. So also let me see how lined up I am. Looks like I'm at least one more out here. May as well align everything. Okay, I think I gotta go one more. There we go. But we're gonna... Since he's producing 120 per minute, we're gonna kinda... Align him here, and then run him all the way. Whoop, let's not fall off the edge. Oops, this is gonna hurt. Okay. I really need to do the research to get the uh, parachute at some point. I have my coal and iron ore heading to where my factory is going to be. So let's create a few more rows. Just start at this end and go 10 back. Basically lined up straight. Did I face that the wrong way? No, I didn't. Eee! Ow. <sighs> yes, I fall off of things all the time. I eventually need to put some ramps up here. Since you're also I don't think I did get them lined up properly. Oh well. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I need to put a set of um mergers and splitters. I'm going to start them here. 
just because that's in line with that guy. And you need to be coming in from behind. I'm going to put another one up top that's coming in from the right. Okay. So you can connect to the bottom one. And you Okay, now the reason we're doing this is because starting right here, we're going to put a set of four foundries. And foundries won't quite fit neatly next to each other, so we're going to have to spread them out a bit. There you go. Well, I guess I'm going to need to add another row over here, aren't I? Just so I can walk past it. Okay. Now I'm going to put a splitter in front of each of these guys. Or a stacked splitters, like I'm doing here. And then we're going to line, hook all these people up to each other. And we'll just use high speed belts between everyone. Okay. Now, each of these foundries, I want to make steel ingots. Now, these take in 45 per minute but I'm only producing 120 and 45 does not go into 120 evenly. So I'm gonna underclock this guy for right now. So he only takes in 30. Okay. And then we're gonna make all of them the same. And then, since they only need 30, you can go there, and you can go here. How does that sound? And the reason I have these things so far back is because it doesn't like it if you try to bend them too sharp this close to the mounter. Okay. So those are now getting set up. So let's bring some power up here. If I can get power without falling off the edge again. Okay. So we'll run you up to about right here. Does that look right? It's hard to tell from this far up, but okay, fine. We can fix it later if we have to. Foundries here are each producing 30 steel ingots per minute. 
so we have 120 steel ingots coming out. We need to run those into constructors so we can make pipes and um, beams. And you notice we have plenty of room over here for expansion, so I'm just going to let that go for right now. I may clean up that side in a little bit, but for right now let's just go with what space we have, although I don't need that much. Now then. Do a constructor and have it building steel beams. Steel beams takes in 60 per minute and gives out 15. Each of these are giving me 30 per minute. So all I have to do is plop a merger right here. And then see if I can connect these corners up. is now going to be making steel beams. Now he has no power right now, but we can deal with that. Meanwhile, over here, we're going to be building pipes. And we're going to be building a lot of pipes. You just see, if I build steel pipes, I take in 30 per minute and put out 20. Well, each of these are taking in 30 per minute. So, and there we go. So, let's bring my power up to here, up to this row. I'm going to need one here, let's say. One here. And one here. Okay, we are now producing pipes and steel beams. Give myself a little more space again. And let's put a storage container here. And a storage container here. This one we can just hook straight up. Remember, he's only producing 15 a minute. Whereas over here... Did I do that wrong? done that one wrong. Hang on, let's try that again. Merger. That way. Okay. That's better. And now we are now making steel beams and steel pipes. We're making far more steel beams than we are steel pipes than we are steel beams, unfortunately, because beams are what we need the most of, but that's just the way the machines work. But this is it. We've actually got our steel plant up and running. So, what I am going to do now we're going to go back to basics now. 
we're going to head all the way back to our home and run this power back because we're going to need we're going to make making some doing some research and getting some milestones kicked off just cleaning up some of this for right now just so I don't have everything hanging around because I need to wait a few minutes for some steel pipes to show up and I'm carrying around a bunch of coal for some reason but we'll figure that out later can I dump some coal in here? Uh, you're already at max so okay how about you down here because you're at the end of the manifold maybe you aren't out of coal full of coal yet yeah, okay, here. You can have some coal and have some iron ore. And you can have some coal. You need iron ore, but I don't have any more. You'll catch up, don't worry. But we've already got our 100 pipes, so I'm just going to take all of those. That'll let us do the next layer of... Um, That'll do it. Let us do the next layer of our building. Just clear that out for now. But I'm not going to just run all the way back. And I just realized I don't need this anymore because we're about to get rid of it. I could wait until I get the um, advanced power, you know, get the really nice poles, but we can come back and put them in later. But we have all this power and it seems a shame to waste it. So we're going to head back to our hub. Oh, too far. Yep. So it'll also give us the advantage that it will be easier to figure out where we're going from now on. Now, there used to be another coal vein and a pure coal vein and some sulfur nodes near here. So this was used to be the best place to set up your next coal plant, but they removed those after early access. They're just not there anymore. So. So instead, we're just going to run all the way back home. Oh, who asked you? Son of a... I don't like the combat in the game. I mean, I know you can set it so that you get, um, I know you can set it so that the animals are peaceful, but you also need a certain amount of DNA capsules and things like that. And it seems wrong just to kill a peaceful animal just because you need to exploit it. Although that you know that basically reduces the animals to the same status as the uh, the same status as a coal node or whatever. So my policy is I don't go hunting for them. Although I will go hunting for that power slug that's sitting over there because I'm going to need him soon. Or it, I guess. But yeah, I try not to... Um, I don't go out of my way to find critters to attack, but, you know, I do. The aggressive ones I do, you know. Plus, you know, I mean, the factory must grow.
Oh, there's another one. Come on, guy. I was trying to leave y'all alone. Okay, there we go. He seems to be seems to have left. And I can see the edge of my factory over there. So we're almost home. I'm just going to put this here for right now. I think I'm going to run this down to here. And the two power crits are now joined. Which means I don't need my biomass burner anymore. I may keep it up there just as a bit of a... Just to be safe. But you I can connect up there. And yes, we are now fully on the grid. Guess I need to connect that one over there because that's its own little isolated thing. But there we go. Because that will let me take this bit of the power grid off. And if you look now, production is 600, max consumption is 573. Capacity is over 900, but that's because we have these guys up and running. And I'm just going to take a few of these offline, just to save some power. It means I'm going to have a lot of biomass in my hands, but... And there we are. We've now vastly simplified our power infrastructure. Oops, there's one I missed. And our capacity is only 840 now, but again, we're using less than we're producing. And we're about to render that unneeded. So, let's go up here. Actually, let's go over here first. Let's do a little more power grid cleanup. This was holding solid biofuel. And you notice we have plenty of that now and it's full. My extra thing that was up there, okay, he's still emptying, so we'll let him keep doing that. Over here we've got plenty of extra stuff, so I'm just going to dump some of this excess biofuel I've got floating around in you and let you deal with it. There. Fine. Let's get some points for that. And we will go ahead and get rid of the last of what I brought over. Okay. Got any points? Yes, we have some tickets. Let's pick some tickets up while we're here. We might need some soon. I'm not sure how soon, but we might. So, let's go see what we can do now. I got all of those. Okay. I'm going to need to go grab some more rotors and some more modular frames.
so let's go grab I need 40 more so I'll just grab a hundred more well make 150 so I'll still have some in my hand rotors are over here I need another 60 rotors roughly but I'll also need some in my hand so I'll do that and that's all I'm going to need for right this second. I suspect I'll be coming back up here to grab more stuff in a minute. So that's the rest of those. That's the rest of those. Milestone reached. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. Miners can be directly upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. I will not show you the predictions. It would only demotivate you. Yeah, thanks for the help, Ada. But anyway, the important part there is that we now have... Um, select that next. Because I have those, I have those, and I can get those two things pretty quickly. The alternative is here. I'm going to expand the power infrastructure first, just so I can get the, um, replace all those power towers I just put up with something that'll let me cover more space. But we have to wait, so. And then we have to run back and get some more. Have to run way back over there and get some more stuff anyway. Um, more pipes. So I'm going to pick up these and a handful of things here. Because there's a few things I want to try now that we have the um, capability of doing it. I don't want all those. I may need fives. So let's do that. Okay. Let's go see what we can research now that we've got more stuff. Can I do anything here? Yes, I can. Because all I need is... I have that, I need five DNA capsules, and I need a little bit more there. I think I have enough of those. Do I have enough of those? If not, I can go get them. Now I've only got five, so I'll have to get some more. But let's start by making, um, let's turn all those into protein, and to do five of them into um, DNA capsules. And I'm going to go ahead and convert these because I'm going to need them soon. Okay. So now I can do this. Research to develop the rebar gun is now available. When completed, you will be in possession of a tool effective against any local obstacles actively objecting to the fix-it mission. Rebar gun and iron rebar ammo unlocked. Your ingenuity towards preservation of fix-it property has been noted. You earned a micro-break. And welcome back. I hope you feel refreshed. Okay. Can't get to this quite yet because I need more, a lot more beams and DNA capsules than I have. This is a little less useful and that's not as useful as other things right now. Haven't unlocked anything else here. Don't have enough Katarium to do this yet. Mycelia we can have a lot of fun with, though. Because you see, I can get fabric here. But I need biomass. 
And fortunately, I can make a lot of biomass out of uh, mycelium. Research completed. Fabric recipe unlocked. New mycelia research available. And I need to make 10 cloth at this point. Actually, I actually need to make 60 cloth at this point. Let's see if I've got enough to make 60 cloth. Well, fabric. Now I can only make 40, but we'll go ahead and make that. Because I'm going to need more biomass. Parachute unlocked. Fixit appreciates your willingness to descend rapidly to perform your duties, but damaging Fixit property is a breach of contract and will have unpleasant consequences. Improve descent efficiency by combining the forces of gravity and drag with a parachute. Okay, this I can also research right now. Tool belt expanded. The latest data indicates that the mycelia possess sentience. Don't worry, we have been given permission to harvest and repurpose their remains. Oh, that makes me feel better. Um, need some more pipes, need some more cloth. Um, this, I'm still waiting on, okay, I'm eating, waiting on pipes. This, I haven't found a purple slug yet. This, I need to get some more um, quartz ore. Although I know where that is, I just have to go get it. And this, I need more sulfur than I have. So sulfur is going to be my next bottleneck. While we're waiting on the um, thing to come back. I'm going to need some. Let's go refill on what I've got here. Over here, um, I still have like six or seven of those. I don't think I need six or seven of those anymore, so we'll put some back. Um, how are we on pipes? I uh, haven't even touched that, so we're good there. Uh, wire, I'm good there. Actually, I'll switch that out for that, just, just to make sure I've got a nice full set. Um, rods. Rods are over here. And I'm running low on those. I've only got, like, 11. So... Let's get, like, four stacks of those. And concrete I'm going to need more of in a minute, but I've got enough for right now. The important thing I have is the Minor Mark IIs, which is going to be allow me to double the throughput I have on every factory right now. So, um, 
Oh, over here. So we're going to start by building a parachute. I'm going to need more some more cables soon. That's good. Then I'm going to have to build the rebar gun. Then I'm going to build like a couple of hundred rebar ammo. And I hear the pod returning. Now, I can wear my parachute, I can equip the rebar gun, so if I have to attack something, I can attack it from a distance now. Now over here, um, I don't have enough cable yet, and I don't have enough frames yet, but they're all being manufactured over there behind me, so I'm not particularly concerned about it. Did I pick up whatever I needed that I was missing over here? I can't remember. Um, no, I need pipes for that. I need more of those barrel nuts, which I don't have yet. I need to find some of this stuff. I need more catarium. That I can't get until I do oil processing. And I need more coal and fabric from I need more everything for that. Okay. I think that's what I can do for right now. Is there anything in here worth buying at the moment? No, probably not. Okay. So I'm going to store some of this stuff I've got carrying around. Just because I don't need all of it. And um, the rest of it I'm going to hang on to now. I need to pick up some more cable. I need to pick up some more pipes and beams when I get to the other side. But at the moment, we're kind of better off than we were before. I'm going to hide that away, too, because I can just carrying it around doesn't do me anything. And, um, yeah, I think I'm in a pretty good position here. We're getting close. Once I get more of the steel factory up and running, we'll have the ability to care, get care of all of this stuff. Um, and I can run back over and expand my... Um, power plants. So, I think we're in a good position right now. So, I'm going to call a stop right here. I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer. We have been playing Satisfactory. Uh, we are, we now have steel being produced and we're doing a good way towards tier four. So, I will talk to all of you next time.